Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School 1. Today we're back in our final series on simple box traps, which will be a mink box. And a mink box employs either a 110 or a 160 body grip style killing trap. And you basically have the same type box that we've built, just a four-sided long box that you put bait in the back. And the difference with this box is it has two slots in the side that this trap spring slides into so that it sets into the opening of the box so that when the animal enters the opening he triggers the trap. Now there's a little bit of a modification that you can do with this trap we're going to talk about in this video as well to make it a little bit more effective and a little bit less obtrusive to the animal when he's entering the trap. So we'll talk about that once we get the box built. Stay with me and we'll get started. So what we're going to do here is we're going to cut our slot four inches into the box so that the trap will slide four inches back into this box when we're done. And it has an overhang on it. We've got four sides that are 18 inches long and then we've got one that is four inches longer that's going to be the top of our box. And we can cut this off at angles here a little bit to make it look a little bit better, but that's just an overhang for the box really more than anything else. And so let's go ahead and take these two pieces, which are our sides, and we'll mark our four inches first, which is gonna be the depth of our trap spring notch. And we'll get a line drawn across there for depth. And then we'll figure out where our center line is because we want these in the center as well. So we have a piece of one by eight here. All of this is one by eight, and it needs to be one by eight to fit a 110 type trap. And you've got seven and a quarter there, so again, you know, three and a half plus an eighth is going to give us a center mark on this one. And then the same thing on this one. Measure over three and a half of seven plus an eighth gives us seven and a quarter, which is how long our board is, seven and a quarter. And we've got two center marks. Now, we don't need a great big wide channel in here, but we need something big enough that the spring can slide through it. So what I've decided to do here is just take a hole saw and center drill it and then cut it in with a jigsaw or a handsaw from that. So all of this stuff can be done fairly simply with simple hand tools. These hole saws are not that expensive to buy and you can buy an electric drill pretty cheap as well. You could do this with an auger if you had to, if you didn't have the power tools. The power tools just make it much faster. All right, so once I have that hole cut in both of these, all I'm going to do is come in here with my square and get things lined up and looking right and just follow that line straight down just like that. And cut that with a saw. All right, so once we've got our slots cut into our box, we'll set this trap aside for a few minutes. And we can now go ahead and assemble our four sides and get our back on. And that's no different than the other boxes that we have assembled. We're just going to run a glue line on there, put it together with box nails, and we'll be ready to go on to the next step and modify this trap a little bit and talk more about this box. These box traps are real, real simple to build. Okay, so there's your 160 inside the box. Again, the bait goes in the back. Now, you can put those whiskers up or down. In this case, I've got them sticking up, and there's a reason for that. We're gonna modify this trap, and we're gonna make it a treadle platform trigger. A lot of guys feel that mink are a little bit wary of going in a box and going past those whiskers. But if you put like a ramp on there that they just have to walk over, they're more apt to go in it. So I'm gonna show you how to make one of those. It's very, very simple. Stay with me. 
Okay, so to make this a platform type or treadle type trap, we need to add a platform to our whiskers. And you can see I've got a Bridger safety on here. Whenever I'm working with this stuff, I try to have a safety on it. And what I've done here is I've cut a four inch by four inch piece of that same wood and just sliced it in half basically with a table saw. And I'm gonna find the thicker side of that that's not going to split the grain. I'm gonna go against the grain here. And lay this in the center of those two whiskers and mark where that thing's laying on here so that I can drill this out to slide those whiskers up inside it and keep them in place right there. Okay, now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to cut these whiskers down a little bit. And if you're gonna use this permanently in a mink box like this, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about that. And if they're a little bit spread, that's okay too because you wanna almost force fit them in here and I don't mind even gluing them, okay? But you gotta make sure that that thing is not too long. So we're gonna cut a little bit off of that because we want it to kind of swing free in here to make sure that trap will close. So we'll pull this out, we'll cut just a little bit off of this and then we'll glue it. Okay, once we've got everything right, we're gonna take this and we're gonna bend these down 90 degrees toward the inside of the trap, just like this. And like this. Okay, so once you bend those wires over and you get your piece of wood on there, now you have a treadle platform so that when the animal enters the trap, he actually steps on this to release it, okay? And when that releases, it's going to drop the two jaws around the animal. You'll see that when we put it inside the box. All right, so here's your mink box with a 110 Connor Bear or a 110 body grip trap in it. A 160 fits in there a little tighter, a 110 a little looser. So you can build it so it will fit both fairly easily. The whole pretense of that thing is that you put the bait in the back of the box, the animal feels comfortable entering the box because it's like a den. And upon entering the box, hits the triggers and he's hammered. All right, folks, well, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School, and I appreciate you joining me today for this quick video, the last in our series on simple box traps on building the mink box. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends, and I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.